Taiwanese President Tsai Ing-wen hit a defiant note on Wednesday after China threatened retaliation if she met House Speaker Kevin McCarthy. Today's meeting between President Tsai Ing-wen, Speaker Kevin McCarthy, and more than a dozen lawmakers took place despite Beijing's threats of a serious response. China, which considers Taiwan a renegade province, protested against that visit. On Thursday, Beijing once again registered its discontent. The escalating tensions between China and Taiwan have raised concerns about the possibility of a war between the two. The recent visit of Taiwan's President Tsai Ing-wen to the United States, despite warnings from China, triggered an aggressive military response from Beijing. The People's Liberation Army conducted a military drill, simulating a blockade of Taiwan, deploying an aircraft carrier, naval ships, and warplanes near the island, and Taiwan's foreign minister warned that this demonstrates China's readiness for a potential war. Taiwan's strategic location, approximately 100 miles off the southeast coast of China, makes it a critical area within the first island chain. This is a strategic geographic region in East Asia, consisting of a chain of islands that runs from the Kuril Islands in the north to Borneo in the south. The chain includes territories friendly to the United States and is considered to be a natural barrier to the expansion of Chinese military power into the Pacific Ocean. Historically, Taiwan came under Chinese influence during the Qing Dynasty in the 17th century, but was ceded to Japan in 1895 after the First Sino-Japanese War. China regained control of the island in 1945 after World War II, but a civil war between the nationalist forces led by Chiang Kai-shek and the Communist Party under Mao Zedong led to the nationalists fleeing to Taiwan. China claims that Taiwan is a Chinese province based on this history, but Taiwan argues that it was never part of the modern Chinese state formed in 911 or the People's Republic of China established in 1949. The Kuomintang Party has been a significant political force in Taiwan's history, ruling the island for many years, but due to China's diplomatic pressure, only 13 countries officially recognize Taiwan as a sovereign state, and China has exerted considerable effort to prevent other countries from doing so. The US has made a policy of strategic ambiguity regarding its defense of Taiwan, recognizing only one Chinese government in Beijing. But President Joe Biden's statement confirming the United States' commitment to defend Taiwan has added to the evolving narrative, despite the White House maintaining that its position regarding the One China policy has not changed. The situation between China and Taiwan remains tense, with the possibility of military conflict looming. The international community is closely monitoring these developments and their potential impact on regional stability. If, God forbid, a military conflict does arise, China's armed forces possess superior military capabilities compared to Taiwan. China invests heavily in defense, second only to the United States, and has a wide range of advanced technologies at its disposal, including naval power, missile systems, aircraft, and cyber warfare capabilities. In the event of a conflict, experts suggest that Taiwan's best strategy would be to delay a Chinese attack by preventing successful amphibious landings and engaging in guerrilla strikes while awaiting assistance from allies. The US has been a key supplier of arms to Taiwan and will likely provide support in such a scenario. To enhance its combat capabilities, Taiwan has extended mandatory military service periods and accelerated the development of its indigenous weapons program. Taiwan's government is also collaborating with the US to establish a stockpile of munitions on Taiwanese soil. Taiwan's Foreign Minister Joseph Wu has stated that the country is preparing for the possibility of a war with China by 2027. So the situation is getting worse and we need to prepare for the worst possible scenario. China's leader Xi Jinping has consistently expressed the view that Taiwan must be reunited with the mainland. The global supply chain, particularly for semiconductors, heavily depends on Taiwan, making it vulnerable to disruption in the event of a conflict. But there are hypotheses that suggest that China may not yet invade Taiwan due to its current efforts to present a positive image globally, particularly in light of the conflict between Russia and Ukraine. China has engaged in discussion with European leaders to address the Ukraine crisis and improve its relations with Europe. Engaging in a war with Taiwan may not align with China's current diplomatic endeavors. The timeline for a potential conflict remains uncertain, and even the head of US Indo-Pacific Command acknowledges the difficulty in predicting it. The situation between China and Taiwan continues to be closely monitored, with potential implications for regional and global stability.